Aha, hello again. All right, somebody was asking the other day about uh, using a tree as part of a bipod or tripod combo, using this as one end and a ridge line. No, a ridge pole. So what you can do, take your ridge pole, and I've got a strap here. This is basically just a bit of one-inch sling, not a water knot there. It's improved climbing knot. And I'll lock set it around ridge pole. That chokes it so it can't slide back and forwards. And I'll take it up over and around the trunk. I'll put it above a branch so it can't slip down too easily. And I want to choke it onto the tree as well. So a few turns around the tree. Bring that up fairly short. Get the turns around the tree until I've got there's a loop left at the end just enough so I can pull it over the end of my ridge pole. That's why I didn't leave that too long. So I can do that. I just want to even up the pull. So it's taking the weight on both that and that. And there's not too much movement. And you see the other end? Come with me. Okay, here we go. The other end of the ridge pole, I've got my bipod. Okay, it's a tripod. So it's two legs together, so it tends to be a bipod. So I have got the issue of it moving back and forwards that way, but not side to side. But that's okay, because what I can do is make sure this head can't move that way too far, because it's cinched against the tree, can't move that way too far, because I put my suspension, my hammock, wrapped tightly around so that it holds it all in place and it can't slide up or back along the ridge pole. Okay, so we can take the hammock to the other end. Meet me there. Whoa, there's my thing. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Ready to put the hammock up at this end. So I'm going to take the tape, go around. Always put the hammock suspension right underneath where it's suspended from the tree or the bipod tripod combo. That way, there's no bending effect on your pole, your ridge pole. So this is another one inch Dyneema tape. This is the plain weave. It's a bit stiffer, tiny little bit heavier. This is 2.4 grams per meter. No, 2.4 grams per foot. Oh, it's mixed measurements, it's crazy. So we've got it incorporated and it's not gonna slide that way or that way. And I'm attaching it to the stainless steel loop aliens, my little favourites. So through the big eye, over the little eye. And it kind of locks it with a tension on there, trapping the tail end. It doesn't hold fully, but it's enough so you can adjust it, get your suspension right. And when you're happy, just wind around the neck of the alien there back behind so it's jammed in that gap and just do several turns like that. Make sure it's tied up. Three is usually plenty. And that's you done. Ah oh, and while we're here my hammock sack I normally just grab pull over the hammock. Also can be used as a peak bag for storing bits and bobs. So I can take Loop I've made there and attach it onto my ridge line. Utilising glasses, tiny. And to this little soft shackle. The soft shackle tightens up and then it's a cross it and pull it along. And I've got so a little peak bag, useful for storing extra bedding, hats, gloves, whatever you want really. And you can pinch, tighten it up. The draw cord. Lastly, I've still got my, my seat mod. Oh, yeah, blue bells. There you are, I sat down so confidently there, didn't I? Still got an adjustable back there. Pull it on, that line tightens up that seam. I've got a backrest. Handsome.
Well, we'll finish up, but I suppose we'll put it away. So, pack up, loosen up the shop shackle. Take the bag off, and it's ready to go back in the, back in the sack. Drop the loop alien, off the suspension, reach inside my bag, grab my hammock, turn it inside out over the hammock. This bag's big enough that it'll fit an undercoat in as well, even the summer top coat. You can have an all in one. Drop it off this one. And you're done. Super. Hope that helps.